Few things say Christmas more than the ubiquitous poinsettia. From storefronts to churches to the Home Depot shelves, the leafy cherry red plant hails us into the holiday season every year. And we love them. U.S. consumers bought nearly $160 million worth of poinsettias in 2020 alone. But beneath the plant's red bracts, there's a story rife with patent wars, a dethroned monopoly, and secret breeding techniques. Ho, ho, hold on to your cocoa. This is the real story behind the blooming poinsettia business. Poinsettias are native to Southern Mexico and were first used as medicine and dyes by the Aztec people in the 14th century. Emperor Montezuma loved these plants so much that every winter he'd have thousands of them brought up to the capital of Tenochtitlan. For the next hundred years, Mexican farmers grew and celebrated the plant. Then along came a wealthy American, a Southern slave owner and diplomat named Joel Poinsett. While stationed in Mexico, he was so impressed by the plant the Mexicans called Flor de Nochebuena that he shipped specimens back to the U.S. Westerners fell in love with it and dubbed the plant poinsettia after the Columbus of cultivation himself. And while it enjoyed a commercial boom by the end of the 19th century, the plant had a few downsides. It only stayed alive and vibrantly red for two or three days, and it died constantly in transport. In the early 1900s, a German immigrant and enterprising farmer named Albert Ecke settled in Los Angeles and began experimenting with the plant. Ecke developed a breeding technique that vastly improved the durability and aesthetic of poinsettias. And better yet, he marketed them as a Christmas decoration. He kept the breeding technique a secret, even from his own family, giving him a virtual monopoly over the industry. That is until 1992 when a graduate student from Minnesota named John Dole figured out Eka had grafted two poinsettia plants together. Dole published his findings and the competitors started rolling in. Dozens of new color variations popped up. White, yellow, neon green, and pink, with names like Premium Picasso and Monet Twilight. Poinsettias changed from upscale independent plant store commodities to the plant you see absolutely everywhere and a complex international supply chain was born. Now, over half the poinsettia market is dominated by the Ohio-based agricultural and breeding giant, Duman Orange. Soil regulations don't allow countries to import potted plants themselves. So Duman purchases the cuttings at just 30 cents a piece and finishes the growing process in the US. And while the cuttings are cheap, Duman makes a profit selling around 50 million each year, more than half the world's supply. Over the last few years, poinsettias haven't been very lucrative due to COVID-19 and supply chain issues. But according to Winky Greenhouses, one of the largest operations in the US, the poinsettia market will remain profitable. Because according to the owner, Lawrence Winky, nothing says Christmas time like a poinsettia. Hit subscribe and ring in some holiday cheer with us at The Hustle. Check out the links below to sign up for our daily newsletter, which keeps you up to date on the latest in business and tech.